What are you What are you picturing for this part? Um. Uh, well, I'm I'm picturing uh, a a parade down the the main street of the largest mm-hmm. city in the kingdom. Yeah. They they are uh, they're bringing the ashes of the bra to the king. The king he seems distressed. This might be an emperor's new clothes sort of situation. He he thought he'd be wearing a, a brand new big bra, but there's they've burned it already. <laughs> Meanwhile, the old lady is in the forest. She's searching, searching for all of her unmentionables, which blew away. <laughs> there's a there's a stocking caught in a big thorn bush. She's trying to get it out without tearing, putting runs in her stockings. She's tugging and tugging and tugging. And tugging! Yeah. Sounds like she needs some help. And I would like to suggest, uh... Oh, and it broke! And she's oh. tumbling down a, a ravine. <laughs> Someone better rescue her. She's fallen into the river. Oh. I think that, uh, this might be, uh, a job for, uh... The, a friendly crocodile. The one, like, the, oh. you know, he's not like the other crocodiles. He's the one that helps people out. He's a real pick-me crocodile. Yeah. He's on a surfboard, and he's got sunglasses. Mm-hmm. And he snatches her up right before she goes over the falls. Yeah. And, uh... When, when he gets her to the side of the bank, uh, he shows her uh, that uh, he's got uh, a remote control boat that he can drive around out there. He's really keen on, on giving her a turn with the remote control boat. He's really proud of it. Now, is this like a modern remote control boat? No, it's, it's actually like the- steam, steam powered. I was going to say, it's like, what was it, Marconi or Tesla that had the little radio control boat? Um, I know Marconi invented the radio. But that's where you're wrong. Tesla did. Oh, he did? They changed what? it. Now in the history books it says Tesla did. Ah, oh, shit. And here we see Nikola Tesla sitting on the other side of the river, pondering. Why do people keep stealing things from me? Marconi stole the radio, and now this friendly alligator has stolen my <laughs> boat. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's telling the, the lady, you know, that he invented it. This is, this is a boat of my own design. He's, he's on the other side of the river, and he's shouting, yeah. Excuse me! Look over here! I invented that boat! <laughs> the friend of the alligator, he was just very, very interested in it, and I felt awkward, and then he asked if he could have it. I said yes, but I didn't want to say yes. He put me on the spot. I didn't expect him to have all of the paperwork uh, done up. <laughs> Ready for me to sign. He had like, you know, when the devil has a contract, it just like appears in a flash of smoke. Yeah. He I don't did know that. if that alligator's on the level. <laughs> Look, I, I can tell he is me. he's a friendly crocodile, but it doesn't mean that he's a good crocodile. There are plenty of friendly bad guys. Like the Emperor from Star Trek Wars. Star Trek Wars? <laughs> the Emperor from Star Trek Wars. Yeah, he's always laughing. He's always like, ha, 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 ha. Just a real jolly guy. Yeah. But he's, I, I, he's I jolly about the wrong stuff. 